one, only 9% of people with TB were tested with rapid molecular tests. So it was an issue for our program to improve not only the capacity, but also the proportion of uh, TB patients who have molecular, rapid molecular testing. That was the challenge. And uh, at this time, uh, TrueNAT came on the market and through a stop TB partnership and uh, projects, new tools, we, uh, we, we will be able to implement the TrueNAT technologies in uh, 38 facilities uh, in, uh, in the south of uh, the country. Uh, rapidly, we got a very good impact. Uh, overall, a total of uh, 12,700 samples uh, from individual that undergoing, uh, that, that undergoing uh, investigation for TB were received. Uh, between April and December 22, 2022. The proportion, the main result was what? The proportion of newly diagnosed people with TB tested with a rapid molecular test as initial increased significantly from 11.7%, this was pre nuts implementation, to 65%. 0.9% during the TrueNet implementation. Similarly, the proportion of newly diagnosed people with TB that were bacteriological confirmed also increased significantly from 54.9% pre TrueNet implementation phase to 67% persons during the treatment implementation. So using those results, we decide as a country, we decide to, to move to an extension to net plan. And uh, inside of our national strategic plan, which cover 24 to 20, 28, the aim is to purchase 8,200 new TrueNet machine in the coming, in the near future, with the goal of reaching 400 instruments by the end of 2028. And we are sure that with all those margins, we can achieve one of our expectations. So what is this expectation? More than 60% of all people, people need to be diagnosed. They can use a rapid molecular diagnostic test for TB. You know, in our country, the, the electricity fluctuation have sometime influenced our results. So it was uh, important to be sure that uh, um, how to protect the voltage of the machine and to prevent also the risk of uh, damage to the, the, the instrument. So we are be able to have on uh, the, the, the solar panel to be sure that uh, we have uh, uh, electricity. Firstly, for to to have the battery fully fully working uh, functionally, we have with the, in the good condition, and uh, also to avoid these uh, significant electricity flu uh, 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 fluctuation. I can say like that. So we, we, we will be able to, uh, to solve this electricity issue in our specific 
context of uh, uh, developing country. I think it's, it's, it was an issue, but we, we, we will be able to solve this problem by using uh, uh, solar energy to stabilize uh, to stabilize uh, uh, the battery and to be sure that we can have uh, our battery. I, I, I'm talking about the battery of the, 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 the Trunata, able to work during at least eight hours. Welcome, friends, to another episode of NTB Dialogues, 90 for 90 Global Voices series. As we know, uh, all the governments in the world have committed to end tuberculosis by 2030. Uh, time is clicking. The incidence of TB in high burden countries is very alarming. And that is why we have brought in frontline leaders from high burden countries who are championing efforts to fight the battle against TB. So today we have Professor Michael Kaswa amongst us. Professor Michael Kaswa, welcome. Professor Michael Kaswa is the director of National Tuberculosis Program in Democratic Republic of Congo. And Dr. Mariat Singha Kupa, she is the head of laboratory monitoring in the country of Democratic Republic of Congo. So welcome both of you. Welcome Dr. Kupa, welcome Professor Kaswa. Okay, thank you. Thank you. So before, sir, we uh, we ask, we, uh, you know, before we hear from you, I would like to show everyone on the World Health Organization, UN's health agency website, you will find a very important case study on DRC. And this is a golden example of how people are reaching the unreached in very, very difficult and hard uh, circumstances. Finding all tuberculosis is so critical entry point a gateway to TB treatment care pathway. Unless we find people with TB, how are we going to put them on treatment? So look at this. Every I will recommend everyone to go through this case study, see the, the great work which is happy, happening in DRC, how they are striving hard to increase case detection so that all of them are put on treatment and, um, you know, and, and get cured. And that is, the treatment is prevention. When we put people on treatment, the disease uh, stops spreading. That is uh, a very important thing. So Professor Kaswa, now I should be the one who should keep my mouth shut. And we all look forward to hearing from you uh, the great work which is happening in DRC in finding all the TB. Over to you, sir. Thank you, sir. So uh, now uh, it's true what you, uh, you are saying before. Uh, as probably you know, DRC is uh, one of the top 30 high burden countries for TB, HIV and TB and uh, drug resistant TB. And uh, in 2022, we got the implementation phase study on uh, TrueNats and TB plus and MTB reef uh, diagnosis testing. Uh, the challenge for us, it was what? Uh, only at this time, only 9% in 2021, only 9% of people with TB were tested with rapid molecular tests. So it was an issue for our, our program to improve not only the capacity, but also the proportion of uh, TB patients who have molecular, rapid molecular testing. That was the challenge. And uh, at this time, uh, TrueNAT came on the market and through a stop TB partnership and uh, projects, new tools, we, uh, we, we will be able to implement the TrueNet technologies in 38 facilities uh, in, uh, in the south of uh, the country. Uh, rapidly, we got a very good impact. Uh, overall, a total of uh, 12, uh, thousand and seven hundred samples uh from individual that undergoing uh, that, that undergoing uh, investigation for TB were received uh, between April and December 22 2022 
the proportion, the main result was what? The proportion of newly diagnosed people with TB tested with a rapid molecular test has initially increased significantly from 11.7%, this was pre trunat implementation, to 65.9% during the TrueNet implementation. Similarly, the proportion of newly diagnosed people with TB that were bacteriological confirmed also increased significantly from 54.9 pre trunat implementation phase to 67% during the trunat implementation. So using those results, we decide as a country, we decide to, to move to an extension through that plan. And uh, inside of our national strategic plan, which cover 24 to 20, 28, the aim is to purchase 80 to 100 new TrueNet machine in the coming, in the near future, with the goal of reaching 400 instruments by the end of 2028. And we are sure that with all those machines, we can achieve one of our expectations. So what is this expectation? More than 60% of all people, people need to be diagnosed. They can use a rapid molecular diagnostic test for TB. This is what I can summarize. What is the situation according uh, right now in uh, GRC? And uh, we are now discussion with uh, Global Fund to see how to, uh, to, 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 to come out with this ex expansion plan. Over. Yeah, thank you. Thank you so much, uh, Professor Kaswa. Really, uh, really so impressive to, to hear the impact of, um, you know, implementing uh, the um, WHO recommended lab independent battery operated TrueNet. Uh, it's really amazing to see how the, the newly diagnosed uh, percentages went up from 54.9 to 67. And most impressive is the number of people who were getting diagnosed with the molecular test went up from 11.7 to 65.9. That is huge. That is really game changing. Because if we do not use molecular tests, we are missing people if we use microscopy, if we use under tests which underperform. It is really important to find all TB. And one of the ways is to replace uh, microscopy with the molecular test. That is a WHO call from uh, since 2018. WHO has called and the United Nations uh, high level meeting last year. The world leaders promised that by 2027, uh, all the countries will have 100% uh, molecular test upfront. Let us hope that with leaders like you, uh, this really becomes a, a reality that everyone who takes a TB test gets upfront, gets a molecular test diagnosis. Uh, and if it is uh, great to see. So Dr. Kaswa, can you please help us understand where did you uh, 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 deploy TrueNet? Was it in laboratories, in big cities? Was it in rural settings? Was it in prisons? Was it in hard to reach areas? So some, some insights from you uh, will be really helpful. Using the different characteristics of the TrueNet machine, they allow us to deploy the machine in different settings, in different facilities. Some was were in the prison, Uh, another in uh, the displaced population place and uh, other in the clinic, but most of them are in uh, very remote and rural area. And uh, we got, we were able to do that with some, uh, I can say, technical characteristic of the machine. You have this battery, 
So it's true that as in the developing country, we have some problem with electricity, but Tunat help us with this uh, battery that can work uh, around eight hours to solve some, this issue of uh, electricity in our country. So we are we will be able to summarize, we will be able to put the machine in the normal TB clinic, but also in the specific place like prison, displaced population place, also in remote and rural area TB clinics. Over. Yeah, thank you. Thank you so much. But Professor Kaswa, this is really important because uh, uh, in, in I come from India and in India, uh, it is really important to reach out to uh, people who are in prisons, who are displaced or homeless people or in remote and rural settings. That is where uh, the health services are really weak. Uh, what about electricity? Was electricity an issue to recharge the batteries? Uh, because I read on the in the WHO uh, on the WHO website that um, the, uh, you were using uh, some sites have implemented uh, solar energy to cope with power outages and prevent damages. This is amazing. Uh, is it true? What was your experience? Over to you. Yes, it, it was. It, it it was true. You know, in our country. The, the electricity fluctuation have some time influenced our results. So it was uh, important to be sure that uh, um, how to protect the voltage of the machine and to prevent also the risk of uh, damage to the, the, the instrument. So we are be able to have on uh, the, the, the solar panel to be sure that uh, we have uh, uh, electricity. Firstly, for to to have the battery fully fully working uh, functionally, we have with the, in the good condition, and uh, also to avoid these uh, significant electricity flu uh, 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 fluctuation. I can say like that. So we, we we will be able to uh, to solve this electricity issue in our specific context of uh, 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 developing country. I think is is it was an issue, but we 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 will be able to solve this problem by using uh, uh, solar energy to stabilize uh, to stabilize. Uh, uh, the battery and to be sure that we can have uh, our battery. I've, I've, I'm talking about the battery of the, 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 the Trunata able to work during at least eight hours. Great, great. Uh, really an important lesson, Professor Kaswa. Um, DRC is showing way to so many countries, including in India. There are electricity, power outages, and it is important to find some local solutions that work. And uh, solar power is surely one of them. And uh, Professor Kaswa, it is a green green alternative. It is an alternative uh, which is environmentally and ecologically also uh, also helpful. But great to see you are deploying it in a way that is also having a positive impact. So, uh, Professor Kaswa, are there any diagnostic delays? Are people being found early enough? Even if you're, we are finding it with molecular test, but are they are they are you finding it early enough because so that we can stop the spread of infection and are they linked to care and treatment? Yes, uh, I think no. There is no delay because you know what. Uh, my main message in uh, in our program, our vision is tests, tests, tests again, and link to care. This is the main message. And the Trunat technology offer us this capacity that directly after testing, we are sure that we reduce any delay. The same days the patient was able to start with the treatment. So definitely, this is a great impact because you know, as soon as possible that the patients diagnose, start the treatment, 
then you can stop the transmission chain of TB. So it's important for us, for us, that quickly the patient starts the treatment. But here, not only a treatment, but the adequate and the correct treatment, because we know that is not a resistance, or we know that is a resistance, then you can start an adequate treatment. So that is two advantage that we found with uh, uh, the TrueNet uh, uh, technology. Over. Yeah, uh, thank thank you again. Um, really uh, eye opening to to hear what and such an important slogan, Doctor Kaswa: test, 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 and link to care. Test, 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 and link to care. And same day test and treat must be a must be a norm, not an exception. That is a rule. Same day test and treat. And if we can diagnose in one hour, then it is. And if we can know that the person is resistant to pampasin or not, we can put the person on treatment. And you are very right in saying the, we it, we have to treat them, but treat them with work with medicines that work on them. So it's very important that uh, uh, that you are implementing uh, technologies in such a powerful way. And thanks to the Stop TB Partnership for for supporting this. So, uh, so Professor Kaswa, any other insights on uh, on 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 when you look forward? This is 2025, and I look forward to meeting you in Goa uh, in the meeting uh, on in next uh, later this month. Uh, so, uh, hardly five years are left. So how did you? How can we accelerate um, the finding all TB in DRC, treating all TB in DRC, preventing all TB in DRC? Because as you rightly said, it is important to stop the spread of infection, and of course to bring every one of those who have TB into the TB treatment care fold. Over to you, sir. Thank you, sir. And uh, no, I guess it's important that uh, uh, quickly we solve. Uh, The, 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 the units and the global fund to be sure that we quickly to get this machine on board. That is something very, very important for us because otherwise DFC will be not able to be part of uh, the, uh, the, the, the NTB in 2030. So uh, what I'm doing now as NTP manager with all my staff working closely with Global Fund is now in within the country. We are discussing on this issue to get more molecular machine on board and to implement it, this uh, technology to be sure that we can have a, a very good and rapid impact in the reduction of the TB incidence within our, our country. Yeah. Yeah, th yeah, thank you so much. Thanks a lot. Re we really hope that that happens. Thank you. And uh, uh, it is really important that all uh, machines are in place, all medicine supplies are in place, so that you have all the tools, all the innovative new diagnostics and new treatments and uh, people-centric approaches in place so that uh, you know we can end TB. Thank, thank you so much, Professor Michael Kaswa. A real honor and real pleasure talking to you. Next okay, time. thank you. It will be a pleasure to meet the doctor and also to discuss with your team on uh, different kind of issue and to share our experience. Thank you, sir. And bye-bye. Bye-bye.